let's get this show on the road. Mr. Tony Justice. Yes, sir. Guys, thank you all so much for letting us come out here and be a part of this. Uh, we are really excited and so very grateful for it. Like I said, usually I'm holding the steering wheel, driving across this great, uh, this great country that we live in. Uh, how many Patriots we got hanging out here with us tonight? Let me hear you. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for what you do. We're going to kick it off with a new song off a brand new album called I Can't Get There Fast Enough. He says he's got to get his guitar tuned up on here. Breaker, breaker, one line. We're ready to roll out. Your hat. 
country music hall of fame songwriter mr kim williams and uh he had oh kim had a cabin or had a cabin up on uh, top of clinch mountain off 25e if you've ever been up there at the scenic overlook his cabin was about another mile up on top of that mountain and uh, man he wrote songs like ain't going down to the sun comes up and just that big old cabin was the prettiest thing you ever seen in your life and he called it the house that garth built because the first four or five cuts that he got as a songwriter was, uh, was by Garth Brooks, and uh, he did really well off that. But we was in there writing that album, and uh, he said, you know, you need to redo this song right here. And uh, I said, man, that's a Garth Brooks song. I, I probably don't need to do that. And uh, he said, no, he said, you're a truck driver. I said, Garth's old rodeo guy. I said, you can sing it from the heart. And I uh, told him no for quite a while, and uh, we got ready to cut this brand new album. And uh, just as the album that me and him uh, co-wrote together was about to release, Kim Williams passed away uh, suddenly. And uh, we got to get ready to cut this brand new. And, and uh, so I put it down here in memory of my friend. I know he's looking down tonight. We're a little closer to heaven up here on top of this mountain. So I, th I think he's going to hear it. So it's a little song goes something like this. Don't believe me, yes, Billy. 
play those fun songs like that for sure but every now and then you gotta slow it down and uh, you know one thing I've learned and I'm 50 years old and still out trying to act like I'm 20 grabbing guitars and jumping up on stages but you know what you only live one time and I say the heck with it just go out there and chase your dreams and uh, but man no matter what you do in life no matter what you accomplish in life life keeps coming at you no matter who you are you know we have good times we have bad times and uh, at the end of 2018 my wife was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer. And uh, that's something that you never, you know, you always think that happens to, to other people when you wake up one day and you're other people, you know. And uh, God bless us, she's, uh, on the, she's on the good side of it now. She survived it and uh, we're very fortunate we caught it early and uh, by accident. So uh, you ladies out there, man, go make sure you go do your, your checks and stuff because Catching that stuff early is the main thing. But uh, as a songwriter, you know, when, when I seen that battle that my wife had to go through uh, to get to where that, and she's over here, by the way, this great merchandise trader. She works her butt off, so thank the Lord for her. But as I watched that battle that she went through, I just naturally wanted to, it just inspired me to try to write a song about it. And I was writing some of the worst crap you ever heard in your life. I couldn't come up with anything that I thought was good for it. So I kind of just filed it away in the back of my mind. And I was trucking one night between Nashville and uh, Memphis on I-40, heading out to Mesquite, Texas. I just had a memory kind of go through my mind of growing up. I grew up just not far from here, across the mountain over in Pike County, Kentucky. My dad was a coal truck hauler, three of my cousins, uh, three of my uncles were also. My other uncle, he worked in the mines. And uh, we grew up over there, and we, my mom and dad took us to church quite a bit growing up. And we would always beat mom out to the car. There we sit. We go, Dad, where's mom at? He said, Oh, she's in there putting that water paint on. And you don't hear many people refer to makeup these days as war paint anymore. But back in the day, my daddy said it a million times. And when that when that word war paint went through my mind, I had this song wrote in about 30 minutes. And uh, I always uh, dedicate this one to my beautiful wife, Misty. And uh, if any of y'all went through any kind of cancer, you'll be able to relate to this or know anybody that has, has been through that. So uh, for those of you who might be dealing with that, God bless you. Don't give up. It's not a death sentence. Just keep your head up. Keep on fighting that battle. And uh, you got a lot of people that love you and are supporting you. And this song is for you as well. It's hard to feel like a woman, harder 
you all. Thank you so much. You know, it's one thing I've learned in 51 years of traveling across this country is that uh, there's one group of people that keeps this country rolling, and it ain't, it ain't none of those people up there in D.C. It's the working class men and women that get up every day like me and you and, and get it done. And uh, I just want to send out my thank you to all of you folks for what you do to keep this country rolling. And in my book, you guys are the last of the cowboys, and uh, I'm going to send this out to all of you. It goes a little something like this. so much appreciate it you know we was in the studio cutting this album and COVID hit and everything shut down we, we, we had like three songs recorded on the 18 years to live album and uh, you know at the time it seemed like the worst thing that could possibly happen but hindsight's 2020 and looking back it really gave us uh, some more time to uh, listen to some more songs and do some more writing and, uh, and during that period of time we had this song uh, called broke down beer truck a pitch to us and I, the title just caught my attention I, I started listening to this song and the storyline I'm like you know this is something that would happen where I come from back in East Kentucky but this old, uh, this old boy a uh, uh, beer truck delivery driver guy he's out on a back road and his old truck breaks down he ain't got no cell phone service and his CB's blown this old country boy comes driving by to see if he can lend a hand. Well, by this time, the beer truck driver, he's done had, a, he's done had all he can stand to this day, and he's done got into the back of that beer truck and started drinking him beer. And I liked his way of thinking. <laughs> so when that old redneck boy jumped out of that four-wheel drive pickup truck and asked if he could help him, he just throwed him a beer. 
Well, at that point, the old boy said, hell, I couldn't let him drink alone. And the next thing you know, here come a couple of blondes in a Jeep and some bikers on their Harleys and a farmer on a tractor. And lo and behold, about 30 minutes later, there's the biggest road, say, uh, roadside redneck throwdown party you ever seen in your life going out, going on out in that field beside that beer truck. And I said, man, this is a great, I was listening to this song, I'm like, and you can just see the video, it's like old red, you can just see that video, you know, for that song. And man, what a great honor to get to cut this song. It's one of my favorite songs on my brand new album. We do have merchandise for sale, guys, t-shirts, hats, CDs, if y'all like to check out the wagon over there, the gray trailer, we'd love to see you. When we get done here, we'd love to shake your hand and, Take pictures or whatever it is you want to do. We'll be there until uh, you guys are satisfied. But this is a little song called Broke Down Beer Truck. And maybe one day y'all be hearing this on the radio. <laughs> With his hood up, spitting white smoke. He had his ways on and his cigarette lit. He said, Hey, need a lift? He said, Hell no, and he tossed me out of cold water. Said, I've been sitting here all damn day and I ain't seen no one. I ain't got no bars in my CB's bar. I couldn't let him drink alone at a broke down beer truck. travels fast when you got a bar on wheels at a broke down beer truck in the middle of nowhere beer slamming them down passing them around till they're gone you know right where we'll be all night on the side of the shore stop on by just pull on over We got time for about one more song. How many of y'all ready to check out the Montgomery Gentry and Eddie and let them rock this place up? Man, I grew up listening to these guys, you know, not not grow up, at the time I was, you know, 19, 20 years old, playing bars, playing playing their hits as cover songs. And man, what an honor to be uh, up here getting opened up for what I think is one of the country music legends. And uh, man, I know I'm excited. I get down, I'm going to come out there with you guys. I'm going to check out the concert and party. So, uh, we're going to do one more. This song's called Life on 18 Wheels, and uh, this pretty much wraps up what I do for a living and, uh, you know, makes me glad to be a part of the working class. So uh, we're going to kick it off and do it for you right here. It's called Life on 18 Wheels. Yes, I was 
Just like my dad before me I'm addicted to the road Another day, another chance Sets me free. Seven years of counting miles, crawling up these hills. I don't get tired of this ground till I kiss a dip wheel. Slamming trucks stop coming down. Y'all, we'll see you next time.